hi guys peculiar here and welcome back to a brand new video in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to crochet this ruffle top this top is super super easy and it's beginner friendly and i've explained this um tutorial in the most beginner friendly way possible i have made this top in a size medium but i'll be explaining to you guys how to alter it and change it to your desired size or any size that you want to make also if you have any questions regarding this top you can always feel free to comment down below or you could dm me on my instagram at peculiars.crochet and i'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have and lastly don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Follow my Instagram and my TikTok. It'll be on the screen. Now grab your crochet hook and your yarn and let's get to crocheting. In today's video, I'm going to be using a pair of scissors, um, a tape measure, a 4mm crochet hook, and a weight 4 yarn. So the brand that I'll be using today is the red heart super saver and it is a way four yarn it recommends a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook but i'm using a four and it is a hundred percent acrylic and i'm using the color latte stripes and also this is a two 215 meters or 300 236 yards and i'll be using two skeins of this to begin this project you want to get your yarn and your hook and you want to make a slip knot after making that slip knot you want to be able to make a chain that is long enough to fit one side of your back to the other side without fully touching so you can use your tape measure to measure um, one side of your back without um, to the other side without fully touching. And I'm going to chain 90, 95 chains. And I think that's going to be about 25 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and make 95 chains. So I've made a total of 95 chains and I'm going to start with my row number one. So I'm going to place a half double crochet stitch into the second stitch from the hook. So yarn over insert, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two loops. And I'm going to place a half double crochet into every single stitch till I'm done with this first row. So I'll do that till I get to the last um, chain. I'm done with my first row of half double crochet and I'm just going to chain one and turn my work for the second row. So for this stitch, when starting a new row, when starting and ending a new row, you're always going to start with a half double crochet into the stitch. So I'm going to go in with a half double crochet on that first stitch. And then we're going to start a stitch called the middle half double crochet. I don't know if this is the right term for the stitch, but I just call it the middle half double crochet. So the middle half double crochet is basically placing a half double crochet into um, the middle of the two um, stitches so as you can see I have one stitch over here and I have one stitch over here so normally I would place the half double crochet into the normal stitch but no I'll be placing the half double crochet in the middle of these two stitches so I'm gonna go ahead and place a half double crochet in the middle of those two stitches and I'm going to be doing that for every row. So in the middle, I'll place a half double crochet. And I'll keep doing that until I get to the last stitch. And 
and I'll do that all the way till I get to the last stitch. And remember what I said on the last stitch, we're placing a regular half double crochet into the normal stitch. So I'll do this all the way until I get to the end. So right now I'm done with my row number two and I have one last stitch left. Like I said, placing we're placing that last half double crochet in its normal position. So in its normal place, I'm going to place my last half double crochet. And that's basically the middle half double crochet stitch. So chain one, turn, and then we're going to start row two. And like I said, in the first stitch, you always place your half double crochets where it's supposed to be. So over there. And then start making the middle half double crochet stitch. So into in between those two stitches, you place your half double crochet into that space. And this is basically all you need to do for this stitch. I'm going to be doing this um until it's long enough to fit um my boob and then i'll come back and i'll meet you guys once i'm all done and i have a length that i'm satisfied with so i made 22 rows of um middle half double crochet stitch and this is what it's looking like so far I already made the side where I'm going to place my straps and I'm going to teach you guys after but I just want to show you guys my pro my progress so yeah 22 rows and I'll measure it for the people who need it so I'm going to measure from one side to the other side and it measures 25 25 one, two, three. Kind of like 25.5 because it's going to stretch. And then the length is six inches long. So this is how like big mine is going to be. Um, so yeah. Right now we're going to move on to the strap. Like the back strap thingy. And we're going to make these holes to place the straps in. So to start the side panel, you want to get your hook and make a slip knot. Your yarn and your hook, sorry, and make a slip knot. And then you're going to get your work and place your hook into the last stitch. And then insert that loop onto your hook and pull through. So you're going to chain one and then place a single crochet all across um, the that row. So over here, you're going to place a single crochet across. So I've made um, those single crochets all across my row and then right now what I want to do is to make um, chain one and then turn and I'll make um, a double crochet into that first stitch. So one double crochet and then I'll chain one and then skip one stitch over here and place three double crochet stitches so one two and then three so chain one and then skip one and then place three double crochets two and then three then chain one skip one place three double crochets so one two and then three 
chain one, skip one, and then place three double crochets. Chain one, skip one, and then place three. One, two, and then three. And then I'm going to chain one, skip one, and place my last double crochet. So I'm done with that um, row. So I just chained one and I'll turn. And I'll just finish off with single crochets. So place a single crochet into every stitch. And even in this gap as well, I'm gonna place a single crochet because that counts as a stitch. So all around. So to fasten off, I just like to chain two and then pull through my work and then I'll just make sure everything is tight. So right now we're going to move on to the bottom panel. So I'm done with both sides and I'm just going to get my scissors and I'm just going to cut off that extra yarn. So don't worry about my loose ends later. I'm going to tuck those in later. But right now we're going to start making the bottom part of the of the top. So I'm going to start the bottom panel and I'm just going to get my hook. I'll make a slip knot. And over here, I'm just going to place my hook into that very last stitch. And I'll place my hook into that loop and attach the yarn. I'll chain one and what I'm going to do is place a single crochet along the sides. So it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're just placing a single crochet along the sides. So I'm going to do that until I get to the end. And I'm also putting this yarn under so I don't have to weave it later. So I'm going to do this until I get to this end. So after that row of single crochet, I'm just going to chain one and then turn my work. And then I'm going to be placing double crochets. So I'm going to be placing two double crochets into every single stitch. So in my first stitch, I'll go ahead and place two double crochets. So one and into that same stitch two and i'll be placing two double crochets into every stitch for this row this is going to enable the top to have that um fringe i, I don't know what to call it fringe i don't know the word to call it but it's going to make it expand basically but yeah i'm going to be placing two double crochets into each stitch and I'll meet you guys once I'm done. So over here, as you can see, I finished my first row of the increase. And what we're going to be doing now is just placing a double crochet into every single stitch. So chain one, turn. And I'll just place a double crochet into every single stitch. There's no need to increase or um, make two double crochets in a stitch just place those double crochets until you're happy with the length and I'll meet you guys once I'm done with my length of the I still don't know what to call this but 
until I'm done with the double crochet side. For the bottom panel, I have made eight rows in total and I have made seven rows of regular um, double crochet stitches. And right now I just cut my yarn and to fasten off, I'm going to chain two and then pull through the yarn. So I'm gonna hide this later, but right now the next thing we wanna do is to work on these straps. For these straps, you're going to place your um, project over yourself and then you're going to mark two spots where you think or where you feel comfortable placing the straps. So I've marked mine and this is just the middle, the middle, st middle stitch of my project, but I marked these two places and this is where I want to place my straps. For my straps, I'm going to get my hook and make a slip knot and my yarn as well. And then after making that slip knot, I'm going to take my hook out <clears throat> and then I'm going to attach my, my yarn. So I'm going to place the hook into the hole and then place the slip knot on my crochet hook and then pull through and now chain one and I'll place a single crochet into every single stitch until I reach my first stitch marker. So I've placed a single crochet all the way till I reach this stitch marker space and right now what I'm going to do is chain 200 chains. Now this um, amount of chains is going to vary for everybody and everybody's size is different. So just chain an amount of chains that you feel, <coughs> sorry, just chain an amount of chains that you feel is comfortable for you and that you feel is going to um, size you. So I'm going to make 200 chains. I've made 200 chains and then what I'm going to do from here on is to place a um, slip stitch into every single chain. So I'm going to go ahead, place a slip stitch until I reach the beginning where I started with the stitch marker. Right now I have finished making those slip stitches on my straps and you're just going to keep placing single crochets all across till you get to the other stitch marker and then you're going to make another 200 chains and make slip stitches over those 200 chains and keep single crocheting till you reach the end. So it's just a repetition of everything we've done already. So I'm just going to keep placing single crochets all through. And I'll do this all the way till I get to the stitch marker. I finished making the top and right now I just want to place the straps and in order to do that you're just going to lay your top flat um, and you're going to face the wrong side um, facing you and you're just going to put the both panels so like the sides that way and you're going to take the string and we're going to do like a, a crisscross pattern. 
So you're going to take the string on this side and attach it into the first hole. And then you're going to take that same string and put it into the second hole on the other side. And then you put it on the third hole. So you basically skip one hole and then you put it in the next. Then you, on the other side, just skip one hole and put it in the next. And you just do that all the way down. And that is the first side. Now for the second side, you will just take the other string and place it into the first hole on this side. And you're just going to keep going and you place it into any holes that you find. So just keep going and you place it into those holes. And that is basically how to place the strap and then you just make a knot and then you tie it all together and that's basically the top that's basically how the top looks and that's basically the finished product all right guys that concludes the end of today's video i really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and i understand the tutorial has been long overdue but i still just wanted to put the the pattern out there because you know i spent so much time filming so i just don't want it to go to waste so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial um expect more tops more top tutorials and no more summer stuff and spring stuff coming i really really want to stay consistent and i'm gonna try so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and also follow my instagram it'll be on the screen and I'll see you guys in my next video.